Hello. Although much of Confessions of a Hollywood Tantra Monsieur is aimed at increasing pleasure for women, the author Jean-Claude points out that a slower, sensual, more emotional, and tender approach to lovemaking can be equally enjoyable for men as well. So in chapter 13, he describes how to give an intensely erotic lingam massage, lingam being the Sanskrit symbol of the phallus. The yoni and the lingam are therefore the female and the male sexual organs. To give a great lingam massage, ask your men to lay down on the bed. Place a pillow beneath his head several if he'd like the pleasure of being able to see what you're doing, and a pillow beneath his hips, if necessary, to elevate him slightly. Position yourself between his open legs and begin by gently massaging up the legs, the thighs, the hips, and possibly the abdomen. Just as we've been talking about with female massage, warm up to contact with the genitals. When you do get to his manhood, be sure to pay attention to his testicles and his perineum. These are both highly sensitive areas so and are so capable of producing incredible pleasure, but it's also important to use slow, gentle strokes to begin if you're worried that you're not applying the right pressure. Ask him, and as for massaging the lingam itself, bear in mind the aim is arousal and extended pleasure, not just a quick hand job. So move from base to tip in slow, even strokes. Build, us, build up his excitement without pushing him all the way to ejaculation. If he seems to be getting close to climax, slow down. You might even need to suspend your movement for a few seconds. So, me thinking he'll really love is this gentle massage of the glands, the head of the penis. And to do this, place one hand firmly around the shaft and use the palm of the other hand to roll teasing circles around the head. Keep in mind it's important to use plenty of lube and to ensure you have clean hands. So the key to a good lingam massage is aim for relaxation and arousal rather than climax and ejaculation. Make sure, though, that he knows this before you start. Don't forget men have lots of erogenous zones, too. The backs of the legs, the inner thighs, the hips, the abdomen, etc., etc. <laughs> Be gentle with the testicles, though, and the perineum, because these are huge pleasure centers, but can also result in discomfort if you're too forceful. Thank you.